Hey girl, hey! So right now I'm sitting in front of my vanity because I kind of wanted to try filming a video here. I don't know, I just thought might as well try some different filming spots around my room since I changed it. But let me know what you guys think if you like this or in front of my bed better. But whatever, I'll probably just try a couple more. So today I'm going to do my September favorites video. So as usual, I just have a little bit of beauty products, some other stuff too, not too much though. Let's get started. I'll start with eyeliner. I have this eyeliner and it's by Sheer Cover. This one is in the color Midnight Blue and it's just like a navy color basically. It's basically just this like dark navy color. I really really like this color especially for fall because it kind of brings out brown eyes I feel like. Um, I'm wearing it right now on my upper lash line and a little bit on the outer corners on my lower lash line. And it's just such like a nice because it's fun because it's kind of like a pop of color but it's not too bright and like out there for fall because it's still kind of darker. It's a really pretty color and I like the way this goes on because it's not too wet and it doesn't smudge but it's not too dry and it doesn't like tug you, your eye. That rhymes kind of. I have two mascaras. The first one is the Avon which I never tried Avon before because um, I didn't really like know anyone that sold it or anything. I don't know. I was never really that interested in it but um, recently one of my mom's friends that saw my videos and she sells Avon and she wanted to, she gave me three mascaras from there to try out, not like to review on my channel or anything like that. She just wants me to give her my like genuine feedback on them so she knows what to tell like her clients and stuff. Um, so she gave me, one of them is the Avon Super Extend Extreme Mascara and this is the yellow one. And I actually really, really like this mascara. It's really nice for lengthening and it does a little bit of volumizing and it has these fibers in it. And it just, I think it's a really good mascara overall. It's one of the like latex wands. Um, but yeah, I really like this. And I wasn't sure if I was going to. I was kind of skeptical about Avon because I've never tried any of their stuff. But I ended up really liking this. So if you know anyone that sells Avon and you want to try a mascara, check this one out. And then the other mascara I have, I just picked up. And it is the YSL Shocking Mascara. You guys know that I have the Faux Sills Volume Express Mascara that I got for Christmas. And I really, really like that one. I always talked about it. But then I wanted to try the shocking one because it sounded right up my alley. Because it's more for like, it's, I think it's supposed to be darker and it's like more volumizing. Uh, sorry if I sound kind of stuffy. I just got over a sickness. So um, I'm still kind of like, meh. It's a little bit more wet of a formula, I think. Um, I don't know why I'm showing it because you can't really see it. But I'm pretty sure the wand's basically the same. Um, it's just more dark and thick. It, it makes your lashes stick together a little bit more if you're not careful, but otherwise I really like the effect this gives. And I have a lip gloss which I got in my Beautycon gift bag. If you didn't know, I went to Beautycon which was an event for beauty vloggers in Los Angeles. And I got this. They give you everyone like this big gift bag full of products. And it was really, really nice of them. If you want to go see my vlog, it'll be on my vlog channel link below. Um, but anyway, so I got one of the products that was in there is this... Jover, is it Joyer? Jover or Joyer? Oh, that's a U. Jo Jower? Joyer. I don't really know how you say it, but it's this lip gloss. I've never heard of the brand before, but this lip gloss looks insane in the tube. Like, it looks like this crazy fuchsia color. But when you put it on, it's like, I like the formula and like the little tube I think is so cute too because it has like a little square top. But I love it because, first of all, it's a doe foot and I love doe foot applicators. And it's like, sheer enough so it's gl super super glossy it gives your lips like a really cool effect um but it's sheer enough so it doesn't turn out like out of this world like crazy fuchsia but like let me put it on i put it on this morning but yeah it's just like really really glossy and it gives your lips just enough color without being too much and i just absolutely love this i think it's like the perfect lip gloss for me okay and next i have a makeup brush and i actually bought this at the beginning of the month this was in my haul video the sigma God, it sounds so stuffy. Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki Brush. It's the F88 is the number and it just looks like this. It's just what it sounds like, a flat angled kabuki brush. And I've heard so much about these synthetic face brushes for the longest time, but I never tried one. And I recently just caved in and bought it with another one. And I really like this. I love how it buffs it in. It's a really good finish. And I love the shape of it because you can get like in your nose and under your eyes and stuff. But it's flat so it covers enough surface. And it's just a perfect foundation brush, so I really enjoy using this. And then the last, like, beauty-ish kind of item is the, um, a nail polish. And I am obsessed with this color. I just painted my nails with it today. So you can see that. It's so pretty. And this is Essie's Penny Talk. So it is gorgeous. I love this color so much. 
I love metallic kind of chrome finish nail polishes and I saw this in Rite Aid and I just had to pick it up because it's like, I don't know, it looks more kind of bronzy in the tube or in the bottle, but when you put it on it's more of like a rose gold kind of color, but like it's kind of, it reminds me of Orly Rage except totally amped up and with more color and copper behind it. Um, but otherwise it's just a gorgeous color and I love this, it's perfect for the fall. And next I have a hair product and I have, this was also in my Beautycon gift bag so sorry if it bothers you that it's, I got it for free but it's not like for review or anything, it's just like as a gift. But I absolutely love this stuff. This is the Joyco K-Pack Protect and Shine Serum and I put it in my hair a couple times. I used it today too when I took a shower and it just makes your hair so smooth and healthy feeling. I just feel like if you have coarse hair or something that's hard to manage, I feel like something like this could help you a lot. And serums are always just really good and make your hair feel really, really nice and you just want to keep playing with it. And then I have a body spray, which I know this is probably so predictable, but this is my vanilla lace body spray by Victoria's Secret. And I literally could sit here and smell this all day. Like, let me just waft it. And, oh, I just got it in my eye. Okay, eyes can't smell. This isn't doing much for me. It's good. I'm good. This is just like my favorite scent in the whole world. And body spray form is just the best. Because I am, in all honesty, I'm probably more of a body spray person than a perfume person. Um, I don't know what it is, but like I always just gravitate towards these more. Um, but this is just so amazing. And I definitely recommend you guys to check it out in the Victoria's Secret store. And then I have a couple Bath and Body Works things because you guys saw I bought way too much stuff from Bath and Body Works recently. But first I have the Candy Corn Pocket Back Hand Sanitizer. And literally this smells so yummy. It doesn't smell like exactly like candy corn. I mean it smells like yummy and caramely and sweet like it. But I don't know, I just love it because it's so fall and it just reminds me of Halloween. And then my other Bath and Body Works favorite is the... Yes, it's the pumpkin caramel latte candle. It smells so good. So good. So good. It's my favorite candle, honestly. It just smells like fall. Like, like fall, but even sweeter. Literally wish that this was a never-ending candle. Um, but I'm probably gonna, like, buy a big one because I love it so much. More of my, like, fashion favorites, except these are, like, jewelry favorites, but... Um, these are both from Brandy Melville, and I got them when I was in LA, and this one, I've been looking for something like this for so long, like, I cannot even tell you. It's so simple that you think I would have found it a long time ago, but no, I just found it now. Um, but this is from, I just said, Brandy Melville, and it's just a really basic, like, brown leather wrap bracelet, like, so basic, and I don't know why I could never find it, but it has, like, a little dark gold clasp, and you just wrap it around. Yeah, that's basically the look of it. It's just a wrap bracelet, and I love these. They're so classic because they go with everything. And I don't know, I just think it's really, like, casual, but really cute. My other favorite is a ring, and I got this, and I love it so much. This is so cool. It's a spike in gem ring, I think it's called. Um, once it's dark gold, and one side has, like, a little spike, um, and this one has a tiny little rhinestone on the other side, which is kind of a random combination, but I really like it. Um... So yeah, that's what it looks like on. My last favorite of this video is a pair of shoes, which I don't put shoes in my favorites very often, but I felt like these were pretty favorites worthy. But I got them just in my back to school haul, and these are so cute. They go with everything. And these are my Steve Madden flats. They're from Nordstrom Rack though, so I got them for cheaper. I think I got them like half off. Um, but they're just, they're nude patent leather flats, so they go with everything. And then they have bows, whoop. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. And little like, gold studs on them and they're so cute and I love them. Oh and also I forgot to mention this but this necklace um, I got in Beautycon also. It's from Michelle Fawn's line. Um, what is it called? It's called Everden. I totally thought that said Everdeen for a second. I was like Hunger Games but no it's Everden. It's like this cool gold statement necklace and I think it's cool because I don't have anything like it. So that is everything for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs up if you like favorites videos or talk, comment down below what your favorites are for this month or some things I should try out for next month. And yeah, so that's all I have to say and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!